I call on Government Order of the Day number one. New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill Committee Stage continued. I declare the House and Committee for further consideration of the New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill. Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman. Good afternoon, honourable members. The House is in committee. Uh, kia ora tato no reira te whare, inga iwi, inga rio, inga hawe wha tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Kei te pai. Now, honourable members, the um, House is in committee for further consideration of the New, Le New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill. And when we were last considering the bill last evening in committee, we had reached the vote on Schedule 1. This is what I have in front of me. That's not correct. The question is that Schedule 1 stand par. All those in favour, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Party vote has been called for. Party vote. Personal vote has been called for. This, uh, can I just advise me that this one here is just a procedural matter? It's not, a it's not a substantive vote. Point, point of order, sir. Can I point of order, the Honourable Member Materia to Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I just want to seek clarification on, on that, that w what is the procedural motion that we are voting on? Because if it is for... Is it for the debate to occur? No. Or is it, or is it for the vote to be held on Schedule 1? The reason why I ask this is that um, a number of these schedules... Schedule 1, for example, sets out the text for the regulatory concessions, which are in direct relation, have a direct connection to gambling because they are the concessions uh, that remove Sky City from the Gambling Act. So, so I'm not sure if we will have the op another opportunity to vote on Schedule 1 and the content of Schedule 1, I guess is what I'm asking. If I might inform the House that during the course of debates, the schedules are part of those debates, but I'd just like to... Uh, put this into the record for the House. The schedules to the New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill provide extracts from the agreement between Sky City and the Crown that is implemented by this bill. The extracts contain the specific requirements that have already been agreed upon by the parties. These requirements are given statutory force of law by clauses 6 and 7 of the bill in the context of existing gambling law. Personal votes were held last night on amendments relating to clauses 6 and 7 and to part 2 standing par. The conscience issues have therefore already been addressed. The schedules do not create legal rights or obligations in their own right. The votes on the schedules simply confirm the extracts of the contract standing part for the purposes of clause 6 and 7. Therefore, the schedules do not by themselves directly and significantly affect the ability to gamble. The point of order, sir? Speaking to the point of order, the honourable member. I would, give, I would um, ask, um, ask you, Mr Chair, to consider that given that clauses 6 and 7 were personal votes, because they did concern uh, the, the gambling and the Gambling Act, or at least the concessions that were removed out, and that now the schedules in relation to clauses 6 and 7 also specifically identify increased gambling opportunities that are related directly to the Gambling Act, that therefore Schedule 1 and the vote on it ought to be also a personal vote, it being the content, the specific content concerning gambling concessions, for which is traditionally a personal vote in the New Zealand Parliament. Well, uh, I'm advised that the votes on the parts already include the schedules, and therefore we're dealing purely with a procedural motion. So the question is that Schedule 1 stand part. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. The contrary, no. Aye. The, the ayes have it. Party vote's been called for. Clerk will therefore conduct a party vote. Thank you. New Zealand National, 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 33 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. 3 votes opposed. Mana. 1 vote opposed. Act New Zealand. 1 vote in favour. United Future. 1 in favour. Brendan Horan.
One vote opposed. Honourable members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 59. Schedule 1 will stand part. The question now is that Schedule 2 stand part. All those in favour, please say aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. The party vote has been called for. The clerk will please conduct a party vote. Thank you. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor. 33 votes opposed. Green Party. 15 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 7 votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One vote opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One vote opposed. Honourable Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 59. Schedule 2 will stand part. The question now is that Schedule 3 stand part. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Party vote call for. <coughs> the clerk will please, well, in that case, the, the clerk will therefore carry out a party vote. Thank you. <laughs> New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor. 33 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. Seven votes opposed. Māori Party. Three votes opposed. Mana. One vote opposed. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One in favour. Brendan Horan. One vote opposed. Honourable Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 59. Schedule 3 will stand part. The question now is that clauses 1 and 2 stand part. Mr. I call the Honourable Member Grant Robertson. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. This bill is the innocuously named New Zealand International Convention Centre Bill. Sounds like a lovely idea, except it's not the right title. The correct title here is the Sky City Crony Capitalism Looking After the Amazing...